it hey y'all what's up it's carissa and welcome back to my channel for another part of the sims 2 to sims 4 series so in this video we're going to be recreating the summer dream family and their house from the sims 2 so i'm not even gonna lie to you guys i didn't play much with this family in the sims 2 because i will explain like their backstory and everything but you know the face paint the the fairy ears it just turned me off and i was like no they're weird because back then you know i'm not interested in that i had no idea you know the cool backstory behind this family but you know learning about it now and realizing this family was actually really cool and i really enjoyed you know creating them and learning about them and building their house was so much fun but i will say um you know, in the picture, you probably can't tell because it's so small, but if any of you are familiar with the Summer Dream family, you know that they are basically supposed to be fairies, kind of, and um, they have pointy ears, so I'm sorry in my creative sin they don't have pointy ears. I was trying to give them pointy ears for a little bit. I cut that part out because it was literally me, like, fumbling around with the ears, like, what the hell? Why, why can't I get this to point? Because I see other people doing it, and I thought this was something that you can manipulate, you know, just normally in CAS, but actually it's a mod. And I was like, nope, I'm just, I'm not doing that just for one little creative sim, not happening. So they're just going to have to have human ears. Once again, the face paint is really weird. I did the best I could do. It doesn't match exactly, but I tried. Anyways, let me just go ahead and tell you a little bit about the Summer Dream family. So the Summer Dream family consists of Oberon, Oberon, I hope I'm saying that right, guys. I'm sorry. Oberon and Titania bottom and puck summer dream so obviously they live in veronaville and by the way they are our last veronaville family i said previously let me mention this real quick i'm sorry <laughs> i tend to interrupt myself when i'm telling stories but anyways uh, i did mention that we are only going to be recreating the families that are pre-made with a house i'm not going to do the family bin neighbors so um yeah, this is our last Veronaville, and the next week we will jump into Strange Town. So we're wrapping this up. Let me know, you guys, like for real, let me know if you would like to see me recreate some Sims 3 um, Sims and their houses as well. I think that'd be really fun because I really enjoy recreating, you know, these in The Sims 4. Anyway, sorry, back to this, this Summer Dream family. Um, in this family, if you download the one I created right here on the gallery, um, Oberon and Titania, they're actually married, but in The Sims 2, they aren't married, um, but they have the want to be married, and as you'll see, there is like a wedding arch outside their house, and I'm not really sure if that's for them and their wedding, or if it's just like the go-to spot to get married in the neighborhood, I'm not really sure, and also Puck and Bottom, their two children, while they do resemble their parents with the pointy ears, you know, the red hair, and they look like their children, seriously, they are actually adopted. So, Puck, which is the teenage son, he is in love with Hermia Cap, we had mentioned that in the Cap video. So, um, yeah, in the story mode, you will see a little boy very close to two adults, and it's possible that the adults are Puck's parents, um, who bring him to the orphanage, and the woman sitting down is likely the orphanage caretaker, so, yeah, they were adopted, um, but anyways, the cool thing about this family that I actually had no idea until just now, which makes sense, is that the family is named after Shakespeare's play, A Midsummer Night's Dream, which you're probably like, duh, I knew that, well, I didn't, I was literally, like, so young, maybe, like, what, 10, 11, 12, I don't know, I really don't know <laughs> how old I was when I was playing The Sims 2, but I was young, and obviously I knew who Romeo and Juliet were, because they're just kind of iconic, everybody knows about Romeo and Juliet, um, but it wasn't until I got into school and started learning about Shakespeare that I actually really, really enjoyed, and The Night Summer's Dream was one of my favorite Shakespeare plays, I've seen the play, um, like I've seen somebody like present the play and put on the play like in, in person and then I've seen movies and I've read about it and I really liked it I thought it was funny it's like I said one of my favorites so I'm shocked that I had no idea and I'm literally just now finding this out I feel like a fool <laughs> because obviously I knew they were fairies and it just and I never clicked to me it's been so long since I played the sims but anyways in the play Oberon is the king of the fairies Titania is the queen of the fairies Puck is a fairy, and Bottom is a victim of Puck's spell, which causes Titania to falsely love him. So yeah, um, like the cat family, the Summer Dream family is matrilineal, 
matrilineal. I don't know how to say that, sorry. Matrilineal. I'm not even going to try. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Which means that things are passed down the female line. So that's why the children um, actually have Titania's surname and not Oberon's. I'm not even sure what his is. Um, he has hers too, even though they're not married. So that's weird. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it for the family. Like I said, um, Puck is interested in Hermia, and she likes him too, but we've also learned that she also likes Mercutio. Mercutio? Sorry. Oh my gosh, I butchered these names. Monty. So, yeah, that's interesting. A little drama there. Bottom is the younger sister. She's... You know, I never played them, but according to, like, Wiki and all that, Sim Wiki, Wikipedia, Sim Wikipedia, whatever, <laughs> she was a little troublemaker or whatever, and, um, the two didn't really get along, but he, he wanted her to, like, be a little bit more serious, and he's actually just a really good, kind-hearted, you know, shy, smart Sim, um, and the Summer Dream family, they're actually neutral, they're very good friends with both the Cat family and the Monty family, so they're neutral in the feud, which I think is pretty cool. Um, another interesting thing is that Titania, um, is actually attracted, um, or I don't, I don't know if they're in a relationship, I don't think they're in a relationship, but she does have a crush on Kent Cap, um, which is another, uh, Cap member, he's actually in the family bin, so that's interesting. Also, I read that she is also attracted to, I don't know, um, both females and males in The Sims 2. So that's pretty interesting. I didn't know that. Um, also, you can find Titania and Oberon in The Sims 3. What is it? Moonlight Falls? Moonlight Hollow? Moonlight Falls? I'm sorry. Don't get mad at me that I don't know that. I've said this a million times already, but I just didn't fool with the supernatural stuff in The Sims 3. But they were actually fairies on there, so that makes sense. I was always like, what the hell are they doing with that face paint on? And why do they look like just kind of like off the wall characters and why does that girl have a crown on girl you are not the queen of Veronaville sit down but I was young another really cool thing is that their house which like I said was so much fun to build is actually set up like a stage in the back so you can see the curtains and like the stage and like the theater looking seats which is so freaking cool and so creative i'm like wow how did i not realize this but i just i didn't i didn't fool with this family but i really appreciate them now it's really cool but yeah this house intimidated me no no doubt because it was just kind of a lot going on but I had a lot of fun with it. Um, I really like it. But I think I'm about to wrap this part up here, guys. Like I said, next week we will be jumping into Strange Town. I believe, I believe, don't quote me. I think there's five families that we will be doing from um, Strange Town. And then after that, we're done. Like, I mean, this series is a wrap, guys. I wasn't, um, I had mentioned, you know, I might, you know, recreate some of the families that came with this pack, different expansions and stuff, and the different worlds, but I'm not going to do that. I don't want to drag this on too long, but if you guys are interested in me recreating some of The Sims 3 households and their houses, um, I think that'd be really fun, let me know down below, because I know a lot of you enjoy this, but... Also, I do have The Sims 3 Let's Play going on on my channels. And a lot of people still play The Sims 3, so if you're not interested in that, that's okay. We'll, we'll figure out something to replace this little series. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I keep saying I'm going to wrap it up. Just wrap it up, okay? I'm wrapping it up, I promise. <laughs> anyways, guys, be sure to comment down below if you like it. As always, this family in this house is available for download on the gallery. All of that information is linked down below. Go add me on Snapchat. Go follow me on Instagram and tweet at me on Twitter. You know, let's be friends. Let's get social. <laughs> oh my god, I'm like self promo in here. Anyways, oh my gosh, wrap it up. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. <laughs>
have to let you go Should be easy But it's not hard Cause the problem is I love you What to do? I count to three when you're next to me I love you What to do now? Do now Only problem is I love you What to do? You got me bound Make my world spin round I love you What to do now? I want you I want you 